Yes, I got it. Oh my god. Fucking Calgarian battle accommodation. Huh? Oh, you know what you guys are? That's me, wise guys! <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there, and welcome to Fuck My Voice Cracked. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of I Can Trim That Cape. I opened the Treasure Hunter. I don't know why. I don't usually open it because I'm too much of all skills, but I opened it to this, and I was like, what is this? So, I'm going to go through it with you guys, and we'll see how it goes. So, Flight of the Butterflies. Fly around the butterfly. The Butterfly using the treasure hunter key to move and receive and receive a prize when clicking on each node. Okay. Uh, the wing nodes guarantee prizes of their color rarity or greater on their first visit and can be upgraded to more. You, uh, wow. Okay. Choose which I just want to get through this. Okay. Track your flight progress and prestige level on the side here. So they're like actually making this into like some sort of like thing you have to think about. If you win a prestige token of your travels and there's currency in here, you can instantly finish off all invisited notes to unlock the prestige prize. Okay. When all notes are unlocked, un uh, claim your prestige prize here. Aurora Leon Cape. Whatever that is. Um, get started now and click to claim your prize, or your first prize for free. Cool! Medium butterfly jaw. I mean, your butterfly jaw medium. Release the butterflies to gain XP in your lowest skill. Okay, so it's like an XP thing. Um, what do I just click on it again? Butterfly large. Can I unlock this one? You can't reach that yet. What can I do? Oh, I can unlock that. Okay. I don't understand. I want to get to this one. Is that what it is? Is this what I want? That's not what I want. It was the cooking star. Oh, oh well. That's all I got. So yeah. Anyways, a stupid little thing that I was gonna do uh, when I logged in. But yeah. So I'm at ports and I'm about to collect some stuff. What I ended up doing since the last episode. Um, not too much, uh, as far as ports, I bought the next rudder that I could, so I have, um, the Miss Dancing Rudder, which is pretty good. It didn't really speed it up too much, though. So, what I'm going to try to do is, what I've been doing is I've been doing all the special voyages that I can do, which you can see I already did them. And, um, and then on the standard voyages, I go for the trade goods or anything that's high duration because I feel like that's the longest projection that I'm going to get. And I mean, distance and what I'm looking for right now is distance. So if we go into my map here, we can see that I'm 69% to the next zone, which is the last zone. I'm not sure what happens after that, but this is taking a very long time, even at one or two. Um, things a day, so I'm gonna try to find a matchup for that. There's none. There we go. There we go. Good matchup. So we're sending it like 70%, 68%, something like that. And that's not too bad. Um, let's see. I can send this one. Also, I want to get the terracotta because, um, you know, I'm going to need that for the rest of my crew and also some ship upgrades because I still haven't upgraded my ship at all. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to send out that. And let's see, I don't want this at all. This one or this one? No, nope, looks like we're going to do this one, I guess. So I'm going to switch up my crew a little bit to give a little morale, which is fine. 50, let's bring up the morale, 50, 50, I gotta get rid of some of the seafaring stuff, oops, so the seafaring stuff we can change to heavy cannon, and one we can change to uh, eastern relics, and then down here we can, hmm, now let's change that to there, and 
this one back to Jenny's Uh, Yeah, it's fine, 61%. It doesn't have to actually finish. It just has to go and get the distance. So, yeah. I uh, will see you in the next clip. Alright, so we have half an hour. As you can see, this red bunny up here. And I do actually need one more agility rock and some prayer rocks and some Christian Ultra rocks, but those are easy to get. And I also still need the agility rocks for the normal. Um, what I've been doing is just doing my golden rock set because I have um, I have some sets left. Let me check this. I have more sets of that left, and I only have one. So I've completed this 27 times, so I have like five more times. So what I like to do is uh, for this, I will... Not show you my bank pin. Hopefully you didn't see that. And um, so we will look for light um, enlightenment scrolls. And also I am still on my perfect juju potion, which is good. And uh, yeah, so I I'm going to the Heffern Agility course, and I'm using a light creature to help um, boost the amount of shortcuts that um, that my guy will see. And that's pretty much it until I get the golden rock. Sometimes it takes one lap. Sometimes it takes a full hour um, to get all four of my rocks. And usually I get them before the full hour. But like I said, I am I I'm leaving this place as soon as I get my golden agility rocks. So it doesn't leave too much time for me to get my normal uh, strange agility rocks. But I will get those eventually within the last... Um, five or I guess four sets because I'm almost done one set and then today I'm gonna do a, a bunch of hard mode engineering if my friend is online and wants to do that with me uh, if not then I'm not going to do it because uh, it's not it's not worth soloing but yeah so what things do I have left for trim I still have to do the champion scroll I have to um, actually go there and fight the champions which I will do in this episode I have to do Eagle tra uh, Transport. I'm going to do a lot of the easy ones this episode because I, I just want to get the stuff done so it doesn't look like I have a crap ton of stuff left. Um, and it's a good time to do that stuff because the spotlight right now is Stealing Creations. And that's not very AFK, so I'm probably not going to do it. Actually, I already decided I'm not going to do it, even if it uh, means I'm going to sit in the lobby um, instead of that because I'm too tired or don't have the motivation to play. Also, another thing, I started an old school account um, a couple days ago, and I played on it for a couple hours, I got a couple quests done, um, but then I took a job with um, one of my friends, and uh, it's sort of full-time, but it's not really. Uh, I worked all of yesterday, probably 10 hours yesterday, so, and I was really, really tired today, and really sore today, so I'm not working today. Um, but I do need to have some sort of income, and I thought about it. I was like, hmm, I guess I could do streaming to make money, but I didn't really want to go that route. Uh, more, more because I don't like streaming than, uh, you know. But yeah, so... That's where I'm at with the uh, with the true requirements. It'll probably take a little bit longer, so I don't know, maybe two or three more episodes. Uh, not inclu not including this one, so four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe maybe nine. We'll see. I don't. My series don't really get too far um, in because there's so much that I cover in each of the videos that it just <clears throat> it uh, kind of overlaps itself and it doesn't really. Um, like there's so much content that there's not not much left for other episodes pretty much So that's why I can understand why other people do like 10 or 15 minute videos, but I can't I don't feel satisfied until I finish like finish my thought as much as I can um, But yeah, I will come back when I have gotten my agility rock. Hopefully um, I'll get it this hour if not then uh, we'll just move on to something else well, literally, that was the same. That was the same thing that I just finished. So I just got the golden rock. Uh, we can see in my bag right here. 
to go to it. And then I have my agility rock. So I got to get the construction and prayer. So I got to buy some bones, bury some bones in one of the, um, one of the uh, profanest hours and get my bone that way. Because, um, I don't have my bone, my uh, golden rock that way because um, normally I get them from the bone crusher when they're killing, when I'm killing stuff, but I didn't this time, unfortunately. So I got to do it kind of manually. And there we go. There's the uh, both of the golden rocks. You can, or at least the construction ones. And then I gotta do the prayer still. So I'll be back when I get those. And there we go. That's all of the rocks. So now, what I can do after I have all these rocks is I can go back to because I don't want to run to the middle. I can just use the teleport. Um, <clears throat> I can go to the dungeon that is north near these farming symbols up here. I forgot. Is it the um, well, it's, it's the one with the mother-in-law statue in it, and then you grab your daily treasure or whatever. And I'm still hoping for um, either unfocused reward enhancers or or um, Castle Wars reward enhance enhancer or... Um, yeah, I think those are the main ones that I would, wouldn't be upset about, or the ones I'd be happy about. So let's see what I get. I have used it already today. Apparently, I don't even remember using it because I was working yesterday. So anyways, so let's take a look at our trim or my trim requirements. And uh, so we need, let's see, what can we do today? Well, let's do the champion one actually first. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Champion, it's in here somewhere. Defeat all champions. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's do that. So I've got two champion scrolls in my inventory right now. It is they are the zombie champion and also the ink champion. Those oops, there were those were I got both in the same day. Um, so I don't know what these actually like. What do I have to do to kill them? But um, I'm just gonna give them the scrolls. So as you can see, I have uh, all of them except for the gnome and the human, and those are unlocked after you finish. Um, after you finish killing the other one. So what I need to do is the Aberrant spec, uh, Specter, and I need to do the Joker, and also the Imp, <clears throat> and the Zombie. I think those are all the ones that I have to do, so let me see what I can do here. Um, there's special uh, rules for this champion. You're not allowed to lose special attacks, just so I want to proceed. Yeah, uh, we'll go down there with my profound sword and I will kill him. See the champion scrolls uh, used to be pretty um, you know they they used to be a challenge but they're really not a challenge I mean oh well, maybe this one will be because it keeps moving uh oh alright so oh special attacks meaning oh okay ability so so back Relax. I'll come back when he's lower health. There we go. He's pretty low health now. He's definitely a champion running away. Oh my god. I know. I'm not. I'm not supposed to use abilities. 385 Slayer XP. All right. Let's go challenge our next one. So we have. The zombie that we gotta do. Uh, you're not allowed to use any mage attacks. Do you still want to proceed? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm not using mage anyways. Although I should have probably used mage last battle because that was pretty ridiculous. So his weakness is mage, but they don't want me to use mage. That's that's a little. It's kind of weird. I mean, that technically is Jagex logic, I guess. Oh, I can't use an ability still? Hmm. Oh, for p performing that ability. Which ability is it? It's probably this one here. Tusker's Wrath. But yeah, so, there's another champion down. Two to go. 802. Getting a little bit of Slayer experience quote-unquote, not. Um, yeah, so, let's see, our other uh, other two were 
uh, Abby Speck, and uh, and then also the Joker. This one, you must use a two-handed weapon. Do you still want to proceed? Yep, let me get a two-handed weapon in my from my bag. I just grabbed a Chaotic Maul because I didn't really feel up taking out runes, although I guess you should be maging most of these. Whoa! Ah, oh, man, I forgot about the helmet. I might actually die. <laughs> Let's see, can I use prayers? Oh, no, he's lowering my stats, too. Hold on. I'm gonna forfeit this. <laughs> that was terrible. Alright, let's try this again. I have a Slayer Mask on now, so I shouldn't... I still don't have high health. Uh... I'm about to die. Hold on. Alright, third time a charm, maybe? Now that I actually have some food and my stats are back up. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. That's much better. That was kind of ridiculous. I'm making myself look like a fool. Oh, well. It's funny, though, right, guys? Pretty funny looking. All right, there we go. So third down and one more to go. Oh, that one gave 3,000 Slayer XP. No wonder. Wait, what is that guy saying to me? He's saying something. Oh, well, whatever. We'll find out after this next guy. So we gotta do the Joker. Um, yeah. Oh wait, I didn't see what he said. What what the uh, requirement is? You're not allowed to use any range attacks. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I wasn't using range anyways. Yeah, big handprint on his stomach. So pretty much done. Okay, cool. So I think that's all of them. Let's see what this guy says. You've done well, but I would test your... Uh, you may arrange a fight with Larxus at your leisure. Who's who's that? Oh, I can fight with this guy? Oh, that's the human one. Alright. Leon Decor. Yeah, let me add him. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Oh, I'm not... Okay, I'm not supposed to take the ones that I have in my inventory. Okay. This one might be a hard fight. I don't remember. This guy was like... No, never mind. This is fine. This is the human one, though. And then also, I gotta fight the gnome. Uh... Come on, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, it's close. All right, I win. All right, so I got 10,000 Slayer XP for that. Okay, here's the gnome. He wants to test my might now, so... Um, or she, sorry. I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to eat because I'm low health. And so you can't use any shields. That's fine. Let me just eat real quick. And there we go. So I think this is the last champion, and then my... Oh my god, that was... Like, whoa. Okay. I believed you mentioned... Oh, you're only allowed to use magic. Okay. Jeez, I need to read better. Alright. So we got a chaotic sword. I mean a chaotic um, sword. You know what I mean. So here we go. Let's attack this person. It shouldn't be that bad. Probably get a decent amount of Slayer XP for it, though. But that will... No, what do you mean? I'm not... Oh, I guess... This is counted as something else, I guess. Um, the sacrifice ability. Yeah, so... Wait, what happened? What's going on? Oh, man. Did I kill a lot of these? Can I use Protect from Mage? Yeah. Okay, so this one's actually, I mean, it's not a tough battle, but it's kind of a long one. This one in the Lesser Demon was pretty long. Oh, I guess I attacked the uh, right guy. Come on. Here we go. 
Let's finish her off. Or him. Him, her, whatever. There we go. Congratulations. You defeated the gnome champion. Uh, go back next week to school them again. No, I don't want to. Congratulations, you have some extra rewards. Uh, for your victory over the gnome champion, come talk to me to collect them. Rewards? I didn't know I was going to get a reward. Let's see what this guy has for me. Probably some stupid. Uh. Uh. Yeah. School knowledge. Uh, I don't want that, though. Uh. I don't need this at all. 10,000, 40,000 tag XP. Great. But what we really want to see is. If we uncheck this, does it say I have completed all the champions? Yes, it does. There it is. Champion scrolls are done. Sorry if that hurt your ears. Um, so the next thing we want to do, let's see, what's the next thing we want to do? I want to do the stuff before reset, so I have four hours to do that, which is the Reaper task and also the um, Champions tackle from Fish Flingers. I'm not getting that, but I have to do Fish Flingers for that a little bit. And then after that, I will be able to do some of the smaller ones like uh, create Char's most treasure symbol in a training cave, eagle transport routes, um, all the hidden treasures from making history, you know, all this other stuff that's kind of small I'll be able to do. But let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have 22 requirements left still. So that's pretty bad, but we'll get it done. Alright, we'll see you in the next clip. Welcome to the next clip of episode 5, where I have done a lot of the requirements that was shown in the last clip, but it has been nearly a month since I last uh, did a clip recording because I just really was not um, motivated to make any sort of videos of any sort. So you can see my layout is different. I believe my layout is different. Um, I'm in a clan now, um, and we, we can discuss some of that, but I just wanted to get this clip in because I have, I'm have i killing uh, Calgarian demons right now. Well, I'm about to, and uh, most of this stuff is already done or very close to being done. Ports is, I'd say, maybe a week and a half off. It really depends on, um, I guess, the last story mission. But um, I'm around five and a half million distance, so I need to get to the six million distance. This has been taking me so long to get the trim, and I've been just demotivated. I've been sitting in the lobby and watching movies and stuff, uh, not really taking initiative and really, um, uh, you know, doing the requirements as I kind of need to get them done. But I did do most of the, the fast ones. Uh, I've killed almost 2,000 of these Calgarian Demons, and I don't have any of the titles unlocked. So that's a bit discouraging, but uh, I'm going to do another... I'm going to do an hour of this. And, um, yeah, we'll see if I get one. But I just wanted to show you guys that I did do those. I didn't get them on recording. So I hope you guys can forgive for that. But uh, I'm sure you guys understand. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I did get the Mega Duckling, though. And uh, Boss Overrides came last Monday. Which is cool. And uh, yeah, so I should, be, I should be trim very, very soon. Um, I'm probably going to get to episode 6. And then, uh, which is kind of funny, because my completionist series only got to episode 6 as well. Um, and there was a lot packed into those episodes. I did, like, basically one episode was, like, all questing. It was interesting. Um, but yeah, so I have been doing some bossing. Uh, trying to get a few pets. I haven't gotten any except for the Mega Duckling. Um, I've been doing raids as well. I've had a couple people tell me or ask me to make some PVM videos, so I might do that. I might not. I really don't have any promises because I don't really know if video making is my thing. 
Um, the reason why I did come back to it is because when Invention came out, I wanted to help people, um, you know, in that way. And, uh, but yeah, it wasn't really like I was, I wasn't really planning on coming back because it, video making doesn't really fit into my goals in real life. I don't think I would have time to, um, do videos. I mean, I'd probably have time to do, like, quick, easy, unedited videos, but you wouldn't really see an improvement in my content. It would be, like, the same kind of thing over and over. Plus, I finished RuneScape for the most part. Um, I just feel like it would be boring to watch, but I've had a lot of people come up to me and tell me that it's not boring to watch, and they like um, seeing what I do and listening. Did I drop my... I think I dropped... Huh. Well, there goes two mil. I bet a lot of people are going to be angry in the comments. Well... <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I do have a loot tab for my bossing uh, so far. I've done, um, let's see, what have I done? I've done mostly raids because I had the urge to get Ecto Primeval because I just thought it was really cool looking and I thought it would uh, match my trim. I mean, I thought it would look good with my trim cape uh, when I got it. So um, I haven't gotten any Ecto equipment yet. But I only have, let's see, what's my kill count? Yaka. I think I have 12. Yeah, I've killed 12 of those and 15 Beastmasters. With no luck, um, I'm around 3,100 rep, uh, reputation at Mazcab, so I'm getting close to the, uh, the, um, whatchamacallit? the re-rolls when you get to 5k rep, which is nice. I have a couple of uh, Gobi Burial Charms that I'm going to keep for this coming weekend, which will be the 13th through the uh, 16th, I guess, or 15th. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be at least double um, kills that you can do. I don't know if it's double reputation for Burial Charms, that's why I'm keeping them just in case, but uh, we'll see. And, um, yeah, so even if I don't get the Acto, I'll, I'll be happy with the normal version. I have the helmet and the boots, and uh, since I range at Beastmaster and Yakamaru, I have the um, Tempest gloves and boots. So when I do get that drop, I do have the double chance for both the gloves and the boots. Um, so I figured I'd go for those first to make sure that I get those as a drop because that's the combat style that I'm using and then after that I will be able to get um, whichever one because I'm planning on doing ranging until the thir 12th 12th piece of armor that I get and then I'll start maging so I can get the acto top but at this point like I haven't gotten any acto so I'm I'm prepping myself so I can just buy the normal version of Primeval so I can just have it to look cool when I get my trim cape. Yeah, hopefully that'll be in, I want to say 10 days, but every single time I say, oh, I'm like a week away, something else comes up. Um, last time it was with ports, and I had another extra month on top of that because literally there was no, no way to speed up ports. Um... It was the best I could do was another 30, 31 days before I could get it. Um, so what else? Mobilizing armies is about to um, about an hour until mobilizing armies comes to reset. I'm about halfway done with that, or maybe 75% done with that, and I will finish that one off. Hopefully, I'll get the Carol Gearing Demons um, done. Um, within the next couple of days, next, uh, probably not because I'm going to be doing raids on the weekend, but 
Oh, raids is only once a day, so yeah, I'll have time to do Calgary raids. What am I talking about? Um, I just noticed I'm saying um a lot in this video. I'm really sorry. Not really sure what I want to say in this clip. Just talking about what I've been doing lately. And, yeah. So, Calgarian Demons. Um, I have two golden statues. Two or three golden statues left. That's not going to take long at all. There's the Broken Home mini quest, or sub quest afterwards, which I was always really nervous to do because it's a time based thing. And I'm just always like that with time based things. I don't like, um, I don't like failing that stuff. It doesn't make me feel good. Uh, it makes me very, very nervous. But I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to do that because it's been a couple of years since it came out and we have new abilities that I could use, defensive ability. I don't know if I could use defensive abilities, but um, I'm sure there's good guides on YouTube that I could use and you know, I'll be fine. But uh, then Chompies, I have, I think I have three enhancers for them. So that's 300 to 400 Chompies that I don't have to actually do. So that cuts it down makes it easier on myself. I don't... This is like one that I'm really dreading doing because ever since I maxed, I don't really want to put effort into the game anymore. Uh, I just want to get this trim done and uh, be, you know, just take it easy for a bit. Probably focus on real life. And, um... Yeah, I think... <sighs> Damn it! Freaking! Oh, I swear I have like three sets of Demon Slayer. And every single time a beam happens, I'm like, yep, it's gonna be another Demon Slayer. Or the one of the seven Onyxes that I've gotten. It's just ridiculous. I'm trying to have patience with this and trying to cooperate with these stupid demons. Um, but, yeah, if anyone knows, if anyone wants to know how I'm killing these, I have Torva Plate Legs, which have Demon Slayer on it, and um, the other things don't really matter. It's just the fact that I have the Demon Slayer on it, which just gives it a 7% increase in accuracy when you're attacking these guys, or it's 7% more damage. I can't remember which one it is. And then on my offhand augmented Dragor alongside, I have Precise 5, um, because I couldn't have it, I couldn't have anything on my Dark Light. You can't augment them. Unless you can now, but I have the upgraded dark light for it, and I have malevolent top and um, helmet, berserker or reaper necklace. Kind of looks like a berserker necklace. Goliath gloves, ring of death, uh, uh, supreme bra 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 brawler aura. That is a weird word to say. Uh, Torva boots. And then normally I have a scrimshaw of attack, but I'm too lazy to go get one from my bank. And I believe I dropped it in the beginning of this video, which is kind of funny, but not funny at the same time because that's like two mil or something that's just gone. But um, yeah, so these action bars that I have at the bottom really, really help with uh, PVM. And uh, I'm really happy that I started to do PVM because it's giving me something to do in the meantime and I'm actually kind of enjoying it like I'm not gonna lie I'm enjoying at least the raids I'm enjoying the raids and um, I started to, to do rolls after my 10th uh, Yakamaru kill I still haven't done any rolls at Beastmaster um, but I've never died at Beastmaster so I kinda don't feel the need to do a roll um, they usually have it filled and it's kind of an easy boss in my opinion um, as far as I, my experience goes, I've, it's been pretty easy. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see any PBM videos, then you can let me know in the comments. And, um, I think I, if it's not raids, then I will, one of the bosses I really like to do is Vindicta. And I, I want to get the pet from her. But, uh, let's see how many kills I have. Maybe like 200 or so. Oh, 
No, I haven't done any in challenge, sorry. Uh, okay, I've done 300 of them. I have not got the pet. Um, haven't got a lance or any really like significant good drops. I've gotten uh, those helmets, those bodies, but they are like worth like 300k if that now. So, and I've never gotten the uh, what is it called? The crest of crest of Zeros. Oh, here's my raids invite right now. So. I'm about to do a raids. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take a video of it uh, today. And um, if you guys, because I'm like ninety percent sure that you guys would watch a PVM video from me. I mean, if not for the good content, you would want to watch it to see me fail at PVM. Um, because I know a lot of people think that I'm not good at PVM, but um, yeah. So it could be funny to watch. But uh, other than that, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And I'm going to... Oh my god, don't die. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to start episode 6 when I finish some of the other requirements. I'll let you guys know. I'm getting pretty, pretty close. Um, if I get any titles, I'll try to record it. If not, then... You know how it is. I'll just I'll just show you the end result basically. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that my <clears throat> tone of voice isn't very enthusiastic right now. I'm fighting off something. Uh, not like a cold or anything, but um, yeah, some sort of infection. That I'm on antibiotics. So I'm kind of tired. But uh, yeah, so I just I wanted to. Just get this out there, and then um, then I can edit the video and release episode 5, so you guys have something to watch. And uh, it's already getting kind of long, so I will let you guys go, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace. So that last clip was something. I hope I did not burst your eardrums uh, with that yelling. I was ridiculously excited for that. That was actually yesterday. I had decided to take it easy after I didn't get another Calgarian um, commendation after I think, uh, let me see what my kill count is. I think it's close to 4,000 now. Oh, not, not too bad. Um, so I killed another, like, 400, and I didn't get, a uh, commendation, so I stopped doing that, and I went to raids, because raids was at reset, and, uh, I didn't want to miss out on that, 
I didn't get anything from raids, but um, I did end up just taking it easy the rest of the night. I was AFKing here at uh, Barbarian Assault. Normally, I would actually play Barbarian Assault, but I already did the requirements for that. And uh, let's see, what do I have? I still have this, the eight that I have here. But as you can see here, it says I have two of the accommodations unlocked, which is awesome. Today, I am going to finish this Broken Home uh, mini quest. I'm going to put that into episode six. I'm probably going to record the whole thing to record my action, uh, reactions in it because I think that would be funny. Um, let's see, what else? I could complete the Damarok statue in my player in the house, but I'm waiting to do um, the golden statue as well. I'll probably finish that as well. I could probably finish that as well in episode six, but I think this is going to roll down episode five because it's already at about 40 or so minutes, 41 minutes. But I just want to also show you my captain's log. I am getting really close to finishing ports. I only need one story mission, you can see here. And to get there, I need 200 and, uh, 233 um, distance traveled, which is around three, only three days of ports. So I'm going to hopefully get all of my stuff done within the next three days. Today is Monday. Uh, the 16th. So hopefully by this weekend, I will be trimmed and I can have a trim video out for you guys and also uh, be trimmed myself and be excited for that. And then I can start um, going for at least a couple of pets that I want to get. I want to get the Vindicta pet. I wanted it to be my first one, but uh, obviously that can't happen because I already have the Mega Ducklings. But if you want to throw that one to the side, then I want the Vindicta pet to be my f my first actual boss pet. Um, one that you actually have to kill the boss because for the Mega Duckling, you don't kill the you don't kill the um, the Daddy Duck. You get him down to health, and you just have to be in combat when he finds his Mrs. Duck or whatever, and they swim off or whatever. But um, yeah, I just want to roll down the video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I think that's about it. And I'll see you guys in episode six. Peace.